hello everyone in this video we're going to look at how to use the mixer in order to make your truck sound balanced and sound good and crisp so without further ado this is a continuation of the last video so if you have not checked out the last video i recommend that you check out the last video i will leave the link in the description for you to check that out and yeah i think we can begin we can begin so i already sent out the trucks to each mix mixer out but we can actually do this again so you can do this manually by dragging so So you can actually uh, route th the the samples manually by dragging up and down and just uh, default, default, default. Mm -hmm. So that you don't get confused. Okay, so you can actually route the the samples manually by dragging up and down. Up and down. Um, so yeah. up and down yeah so but we, we are going to do it automatically so you can do it automatically by double clicking and selecting all and coming here and assign two selected free tracks so as you can see each instrument that we used has been assigned to a free mixer truck so here you can control the the pan the panning left right let me just play the the pan so you can control the pan you can control the volume levels and you can add effects to make the sound more crisp or to remove the bass or to remove the high end or to make the mid sound even crispier so for example you can add uh, the EQ so you after adding the EQ you can Remove the base. Add more bass to the track. Make it sound more crisp. And if you only want to hear one instrument, you can actually turn off. And yeah. So only this will be playing in the background. And you can add any effects compressors delays that you want to add so for this track we are going to add a simple eq yeah okay Not too much EQ. and a delay uh, oh, fruity delay too. So,
I think that sounds that sounds dope. Okay. Then for the kick. For the kick. We want to make it sound aggressive, something like that. Okay. The snare as well. The soft clipper. So we don't want our instruments to have a lot of bass because the FL keys already have the bass to cover up the tracks and the drums and the kicks already have a bass. So we don't want to mash our tracks. So we're going to remove the bass from the, from the snare. That sounds okay. And the hi hats. The hi hats, the hi hats. Also going to add a uh, an EQ to cut out the bass. We can also add a reverb. Reverb, reverb. Fruity reverb, where are you? Okay. <coughs> so this just makes the so the 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 truck sound fuller. Okay. So you can also use, uh, this is an EQ for the mixer, but, and you can also adjust the volume levels of the effects. Just drag up and down. And what else? What else can you do with this? You can swap the left and right channels, clicking that. You can take it to mono or a stereo type of sound. So yeah, so now let's mix our track. So you always have to make sure that your levels do not go beyond uh, 6 dB because after the end of the track, you're going to have to master the track. So yeah, let's begin with the, with the melody. The melody. Thank you. 
Okay, so our track is mixed. <laughs> so this is a basic mixing tutorial just to show you how to use the mixer. As you can see, it's very easy to to use the mixer as long as you do not cut out a lot of the natural sounds out of the elements. And... So as you can see, our track is not going beyond the 6 dB. So that means, yeah, it's good to be mastered. So if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And leave a comment below if you want to learn anything or if you want to ask anything. And I'll just play this one more last time so you can hear how it sounds with and without it being mixed. So let's that. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.